Just drove down the road and saw a tree sticking out. I'd probably be pretty shocked. What about you, Gino? Yeah, and look at all the water there. I mean, that's probably going to be, that root system's going to... Spread, yeah. and you will have a great spot to get a snack on your work break. That's true, although what if a coconut comes down and then bangs your hood? It's a banana tree. What is it? It's a banana tree. Oh, well, what if, I don't know how tall bananas trees get. Mm, but, yeah, yeah what if either. the bananas start falling down and bang And you. you pick it up, and it's like Mario. Okay, well, there you go. Uh, we've got some storms this morning that are moving in through our area. We've got an area of low pressure, warm front and cold front very close together. And behind that cold front, winds are going to be turning in a little bit breezy this afternoon. Along and in between, we've got a cluster of thunderstorms that are right now moving across the Northwoods. They have weakened a little bit over the last couple of hours. There was a severe thunderstorm warning up in the UP, but that has since expired. You see how this cluster is moving down to the south at about 40 miles per hour. A lot of heavy uh, downpours, some cloud to ground lightning, all the lightning flashes stretching from about Anago up towards northern uh, Menominee County. And this cluster is all moving down to the southeast at about 40 miles per hour. Additional line of storms off towards the west. So there's two kind of lines, but the leading edge line is absorbing a lot of the moisture ahead of the secondary line. But that secondary line could certainly start to intensify it later on as we head into the morning hours. For the rest of us, the best chance of those th uh, storms right now in the Northwoods areas along and north of Highway 29. South of it, we are dry for now, at least for the time being. There is a marginal risk for severe storms east of the Highway 41 corridor this morning as we do have that storm system expected to intensify as we get later on into the morning and early afternoon. Hail and gusty winds are the primary factors for these storms. So as we get later on into the mid-morning hours, a few additional pop-up storms are expected. This is 9 o'clock in the morning. And then as you get to about 12:30, 1 o'clock, most of the activity now shifting off to the lake and the other side of Lake Michigan, but still a few additional showers or isolated storms impacting the southern Fox Valley. By about 3 o'clock, all of that activity is out of here. Rainfall totals, the best chances will be under those heavy downpours, and right now it appears to be north of Highway 29 to pick up more than a quarter to a half inch of rain. Temperatures this morning are in the 60s for most of us. We do have 56 in Pembine and 53 in Mountain. A little bit of that rain cool air moving in here. Uh, winds coming in out of the south at about 10 to 15 miles per hour, and it will turn breezy throughout the rest of the day today. Gusts upwards about 25 miles per hour, eventually turning out of the west and northwest. Highs today getting up to 76. Winds out of the west, 10 to 15 gusts near 25. Tonight will cool off to 57 with some isolated rain showers west, 10 to 15 miles per hour. An isolated rain shower possible for our Wednesday afternoon, and then we'll turn dry for the next couple days before a chance of a few showers or storms on Saturday, getting up into the upper 70s. Mm, sounds good. All right, thank you, Gino.